Hello, my name is Peter C. Nuthall. And what a special day it is today. You know, folks, I want to talk about something, uh, a subject that is, well, is, is very important to most people in the world. It sure is to me. And that is the question of trust. What is trust? Well, to believe in something. But I don't like the word believe because that really doesn't do anything because anybody who believes can change their mind later. Faith. Now there is a very, very powerful world. That's unequivocal faith in something. So it's not a question of belief. Now, let's move that into trust to the sheep of the world who are all over looking around at their TVs and internets and iPads and iPhones and you see them every day looking, <laughs> staring at these things, mesmerized and brainwashed. But there is a subject out right now all over the internet and that's called alternative news. And that is a lot of folks now are coming up that never had the chance before. This internet has opened up this opening that can let basically any person come forward and go on TV and be a star. Now there's a lot of good folks out there. I've been watching and looking at this. There's some fantastic people out there uh, bringing the truth the best that they know how or best, uh, basically their poll parents. Whatever's been laid out there, they pick up this information and pass it along and inject their own little opinions and little nuances to make it interesting. But you know what? This is good. The world needs more information out there. Someone said to me, hey, did you watch that guy down in Texas over there, Mr. A.G.? Fantastic! They said to me, that man, Mr. Alex Jones, is he telling the truth? Is he crazy? Is he insane? He's not insane, folks. He's telling you the truth. This stuff has been going on for millenniums. In this last hundred years, the books that have been written, my father spoke of this, his father spoke of these conspiracies and all these weird things that have been taking place. But has anything changed? Well, you can learn more about it, you can educate it, you can read all the documents, but has anything really changed in the world? The answer is no. But there's some great guys out there. For example, there's another man I love. I tell lots of people to watch him. His name is uh, what was it? Jordan Maxwell. There's a fellow right there. He is the eminent uh, talker, speaker. He, you know, what is he really? What did he do? He sat down and read a book and memorized a bunch of facts. And he teaches people basically who are lazy, unread, ill-informed. So he found a place, but he's sharing the information, hopefully trying to wake you up. There's another fella I watched. Ooh, this one was spooky. This fella here, his name was David something. He was talking about reptiles. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That, that, that really intrigued me, the reptile uh, topic. Because my family, my name, Peter C. Nuttall, well, that's definitely English. And my family were always loyalists. All the queens, the kings, they love all this stuff. But this guy, I, I, I looked at his book and I turned on the internet channel and he's saying, the queen of England is a reptile. She turns around and eats peoples and chews them up. This is spooky stuff. You know, so, hey, I've never heard this before, but can you imagine reptiles amongst us? How about all the other aliens and wildebeests and vampires and, my goodness, giants? And th this is just unbelievable. And you know why this is so fantastic? Because more information's coming out. And I think all of this, the aliens, the disclosures, all the weird stuff, I think it's fantastic in my opinion. But then again, my opinion means nothing. But nevertheless, it is fantastic. So when you hear these folks talking that, beautiful. It's all true, it's all real. My suggestion, believe everything and believe nothing. And when you do that, you will come closer to the truth. Thank you for sharing your time.